the unique and able project changing the perception of people with disabilities through digital storytelling. One in four people in the United States have a disability that impacts their daily life. That's a big number, yet we go largely unseen in the media and in public institutions. Our lack of visibility causes people to think of us in stereotypes rather than as real people with real ways of defining ourselves in our lives. For our first project, we met with Samantha and Marguerite Alephason. Samantha is a talented young actor diagnosed with autism who has played the lead role in the award-winning film Keep the Change. And her mother slash momager Marguerite, author and blogger, gives some great advice on raising a child with disabilities. My most proudest moment was co-starring in an award-winning film, Keep the Change, was definitely my most proudest moment. It was traveling all over the world. It won the 2017 Tribeca Film Festival, also won me a Best Actress nomination. And, and after being in the short and then getting to be in the full-length feature, it was all over the world and I, getting to be on the big silver screen and getting to really... It was a romantic comedy f movie and I was a thrilled to pieces and I was a very proud camper to co-star. Um, no one no one even could possibly imagine that I would um, play a leading role uh, in a movie like that. Well, I'm truly, well, there's so many ways it makes me unique, truly unique. Uh, I'm unique in my own way uh, because, um, because he, um, because we we really have the same hopes, the same dreams, and the same desires and fears, and dream, and also dreams and hopes that we want to come true someday. That we're just like everybody else, like just like me and others with other learning disabilities and has autism like me. Um, we it's just like it portrayed in the movie. We want to be loved. We, we really struggle to communicate and express our feelings. Um, appropriately, calmly, and effectively than many most people do. We, however, we do express ourselves and communicate differently than most other people in the neurotypical world. People with autism, just because of my disability and others and my autism, I think every single one of us deserves a chance. Don't let anybody discourage you. Don't take the word. If you don't believe in your heart that the experts are right, you go to another expert. Don't only focus on your child's weaknesses. Try to find their interests. Try to find their strengths. And try to cultivate those. And let your child have a sense of the fact that he or she has weaknesses and challenges that may be uh, more difficult to deal with than the average. But they might also have some talents. And there might be some ways in which they're uh, Things are better. I mean, I always joke with my daughter, I can't carry a tune. I wish I could sing. I could take lessons till the end of time and I'll never sing like you. Uh, you know, so maybe you'll never write like I do or you'll never be comfortable just ad-libbing like I will. But so what? That's what, mm -hmm. you know, makes the world go. Everybody has different skills and talents and weaknesses. You as a parent believe in your child and believe in wanting, and you want to bring out whatever potential there might be or whatever t potential you see and you should look for it if you don't see it right away uh, like it's like have your child try a bunch of different things or if you see your child doing like in Samantha's case uh, she didn't always use her hands in appropriate ways in public so we taught her uh, her she had we taught her to knit and crochet and do needlepoint so she was able to take that anxiety and learn a skill and, 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 and do something that even actually helped her, you know, she was teaching other little girls how to do it. It was a way for her to connect and make a friend because somebody would see her doing that and they'd say, oh, can you show me how to do that? Well, it looks like one thing to the rest of the world because right. they don't understand that, you know, uh, these, these kids are wired differently and so they're not taking in the world like they are. You know, it seemed like I always had, this. Samantha was always the emergency, and I, you know, worried that I didn't give my son enough time because she demanded so much attention. Uh, you know, 
I mean, there were times that I felt like I was being pulled in half and I didn't know which direction to go in. And that was probably one of the harder, harder parts of it. I feel pretty.